Hello everyone, we will continue the topic. In the previous video, we check the output of our PDF form. Means our body pages are coming in the output. Now what we will do, we will design something on the master page and we will see is it appearing on all the body pages or not because this is the concept of your master page. Master page is used to format the body pages which is used to give design consistency. If you remember, we covered that in the hierarchy view, we can see all the layout elements in hierarchical order. If I will simply close this body page, if I will simply close this master page, so we can see we have two pages, master page, this is your body page. And inside this body page, we have so many, we created six sub forms in the respective sub form. We created the text field, text, whatever the things depends upon the requirement we created. So if I will just simply, I, I will just, just simply collapse all these things. So we have two pages, master page. This is your body page. Now what we will do on the master page, I will go for a logo and we will see that that logo is appearing on all the body pages or not. And in this video, how to go for graphics in the PDF form, that part will automatically cover. So I have a logo on my desktop and this logo we will display and we want this logo on all the body pages. So I will take or I will take this logo on the master page so that it will appear on all the body pages. Now, it is very easy to go for a graphics or logo in PDF form. If you remember in smart form, what you did. Firstly, we have to upload the graphics into SAP through SC78. Then we have to create a graphics in the smart form and we have to pass the name there. Here, it is very, very easy. There's no need to go to SC78, nothing. Here itself, we can upload directly. So I will simply select the master page. Now, inside this master page, I will simply go for insert, standard. I will go for image. I will display this image at the right. I will take this image at the right so that it will be clearly visible on all the body pages. Now, we'll simply go for the object of the image. If you are not able to see, you can simply reset the palette locations. So now we have the object of the image. I'll simply put it on the top. I will select the image. I will simply go for OK. We'll browse the image. OK. I will select the image. Open. Now you can see we have the image here. I will save. Now you can see this image is on the master page. If I will go for all the body page, you can see on the body page, this image is automatically coming. We designed on the master page, but it automatically coming onto the body pages. Firstly, I will show the output. Then we will go for one point. So because understanding will come at that point only, I will save, close and activate this particular PDF form. I'll run this PDF form. I will give the input. I'll just check the output. You can see we 
created the image on the master page it's automatically appear on the body page we see we saw the preview but why why it is not coming in the output this is the important point that's why i show the output first Whenever you want to display a image, image will not appear in the output unless and until you are not selecting the checkbox embed image data. I will show you where that checkbox is. We'll go for our Adobe form or PDF form. We have to compulsory check the checkbox embed image data. So I'll just go to the image. You can see we have the checkbox embed image data. If you select this checkbox, after that only your image will display in the output. I'll just reset the palette locations because it is hand. I'll select the image. This is the object property. And I will select the checkbox embed image data. I will save, close, and activate. Now you can see in the output, the logo will come on all the body pages. I will give the input. If I will show you the output, you can see we have the logo on the first body page. If I will go to next page, you can see we have the logo on next body page. We have the logo on next body page. So this is the main, main benefit of your master page. You are designing on master page and it's automatically coming on all the body pages. Now we will go for one more thing. We will display the current page number and total page number on the master page and it will automatically appear on all the body pages. So I'll go to master page. I'll go to layout. And we will go for now current page and total page number here. Now, if you remember in the smart form, we have to go for two system variables to display the current page and total page, form pages or page. But in PDF form, it is very, very easy. How you can display the current page number and total page number? You can simply select your master page. We'll go for insert. We'll go for custom. And you can see we have a particular thing, page N of M. I'll simply create page N of M. I will just move it to the right so that we can see it clearly. So on the master page, we are creating page N of M so that it will appear on all the body pages. If I will show you the body page, you can see page N of M is automatically coming on the body page. I will close and I will activate. I will run. I will give the input. And I will show you the output. You can see page one of four. If I will go next, page two of four, page three of four, page four of four. So it's automatically appearing on all the body pages. So what we learned in this particular video, we designed one logo, we ticket took one current page and total page number on the master page and it automatically appear on all the body pages. This is the main, main benefit of master page. If you think in the project that this thing is common on all the pages, always take it as a part of master page. It will automatically appear on all the body pages. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.